All right, everyone. 124 grams of aluminum are reacted with 601 grams of Fe2O3. Calculate the mass in grams of Al2O3 formed. How much of the excess reactant is left at the end of the reaction? So we have 124 grams of aluminum, and we're going to react it with 601 grams of Fe2O3. So this is a limiting reactant problem because we were given amounts of both of our reactants. So we need to figure out which one is the limiting reactant, meaning which one is all of the mass that we started with going to react. So we're going to set up two stoichiometry problems. So we're going to start with 124 grams of Al. Okay, and that being mass, we're starting with mass, and where you're wanting to end up with mass, the problem asks for grams of Al2O3 formed. So because we're going mass of a reactant to mass of product, this is three steps, three conversion factors. So we'll put our three parentheses, three fraction bars, and then we're going to do a second problem with the other amount, the 601 grams of Fe2O3, also being mass. We're going to do three steps. And convert as well to grams of Al2O3. So. Whichever one of these gives us the less amount of Al2O3, that is what we actually will get. So starting with the first problem, let's convert 124 grams of aluminum to grams of Al2O3. So our first step, we use the molar mass. Since we're just dealing with aluminum, looking at the periodic table, we see the molar mass is 26.98 grams. So 26.98 grams goes on the bottom, and that's the amount of grams for one mole of aluminum. Okay, so at this point, grams of aluminum will cancel, and we're at moles of aluminum. We want to get rid of moles of aluminum and turn it to moles of Al2O3, what we're looking for in the end. How we get this conversion factor is looking at the mole ratios. So the mole ratio for aluminum is 2, and the mole ratio for Al2O3 is 1. So our coefficients, in other words, are our mole ratios are what go into our second step. So 2 on the bottom, because that's for aluminum, and 1 on top for Al2O3. At this point, moles of aluminum will cancel and we are stuck with moles of Al2O3, but we can turn that moles of Al2O3 into grams of Al2O3 okay, using the molar mass of Al2O3. So because it's a compound, it's made of multiple elements, we're going to have to calculate the molar mass of Al2O3. So it's going to be adding up two aluminums plus three oxygens. Okay, just looking at the chemical formula. So we know the mass of aluminum. We already looked that up at our periodic table. It is 26.98 grams per mole. And then oxygen, we're going to do three times oxygen. Looking at the periodic table, oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. So multiplying and then adding those together, we get the molar mass for Al2O3 is 101.96 grams per mole. So that's what we're going to put here. One mole is 101.96 grams. Looking at our units, moles of Al2O3 cancel, and we have grams of Al2O3.
So now let's do the math in our calculator. We're going to start with our 124, and then we're going to multiply by the top of each fraction and divide by the bottom. We'll skip the ones because they won't change anything. So divided by 26.98, divided by 2, multiply by 101.96. Hit equals, and we get right around 234.3, so we'll call it 234 grams. So if all 124 grams of Al react, we get 234 grams of Al203. But we need to solve the other one to see if it is less than that. So down in the second problem, we're going to take our 601 grams of Fe203 and turn it into grams of Al203. So first we got to get rid of grams of Fe203 and turn it into moles. One mole is how many grams of Fe203. We're going to have to do the molar mass calculation for that. So the molar mass of Fe203 is going to be 2 times molar mass of Fe plus 3 times molar mass of oxygen. Okay, so molar mass of Fe, looking at the periodic table, 55.85 grams per mole plus 3 times, we already looked up oxygen, it's 16.00. So multiply and add those together. We get the molar mass is right around 159.7 grams per mole. So that will go on the bottom of the first conversion factor, 159.7. At this point, grams of Fe203 cancel. For the second step, we're going to turn moles of Fe203 into moles of Al203, and that's using our mole ratios. For Fe203, the mole ratio or the coefficient is an invisible 1, which is the same for Al203, which we already looked at. Okay, so looking at our units, moles of Al203 go away. And then our last step is going to be the exact same as above. We're going to have 101.96 grams of Al203 on top and one mole of Al203 on the bottom. And that's because we're converting to the same thing. So that last step and actually the top half of the second step are going to be the same. So let's do the math here. We're going to do 601 divided by 159.7. Second step is both 1, so we'll skip that. And then multiply by 101.96. Hit equals. And we get around 383.7. Let's call it 384. So we solved both mass to mass stoichiometry problems for both of our reactants. Looking at the answers, we have 234 and 384. We are going to go with the one that is less. So 234 grams of Al203 is what we will actually get, which means that our limiting reactant is Al, is aluminum, and our reactant in excess is Fe2O3. There's going to be leftover Fe2O3 in the end. So that is the second part of the question. How much of the excess reagent is left at the end of the reaction? So there's a couple different ways to do this, just like there is for stoichiometry. I'm going to show you both. So what we can do is take our 124 grams of Al. We know that is all going to react because it's our limiting reactant. And we can convert that into, using our um, mass to mass three step calculation, into grams of Fe2O3. We can figure out how much Fe2O3 is going to react if 
all of our 124 grams of aluminum will react. So we can do that. And we've looked up everything we need for this problem. We've looked up all the molar masses. So for aluminum, the first step is going to look just like the first step of our first stoichiometry problem, 26 0.98 grams of Al is on the bottom. That gets us to moles of Al. So grams of Al cancel. Next step we'll be using our mole ratios to turn moles of Al into moles of Fe2O3. Coefficient for Al is 2. Coefficient for Fe2O3 is an invisible 1. Moles of Al cancel. And then last step, turning moles of Fe2O3 into grams of Fe2O3. One mole is, we already know, 159.7 grams. Moles of Fe2O3 cancel, and we can do our math here. So we're going to do 124 divided by 26.98 divided by 2 times 159.7 equals right around 366 grams of Fe2O3. So that is actually how much Fe2O3 will react of the 601 grams that we have available. So we would take 601 grams because that's our total amount of Fe2O3 and we're going to subtract 366 grams of Fe2O3. 203 because that is all that will react and we will have left over about 235 grams of Fe203. The other way to determine how much excess reagent is left over is to take the amount of Al203 that you will produce from your limiting reactant which is in this instance 234 and divide that by how much Al203 our excess reagent would make, so 384. Taking this ratio and multiplying it by the amount of Fe203 we have, which is 601, that's going to give us also 366, which is the amount of Fe203 that will react. So then you can plug that into the bottom where we subtracted it from the 601 and also get 235. So that's another way to solve that, and you don't have to do the stoichiometry. So final answer. How much Al203 will be formed? That will be 234 grams. And then the second part, how much of the excess reagent is left at the end? That is 235 grams. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.